Our top story tonight, a prominent member and social activist from Eastern Carolina publicly addressing a situation making national headlines for the first time. On Tuesday afternoon, Bishop William J. Barber II was removed from the AMC movie theater on East Fire Tower Road in Greenville. News 12's Amanda Denise was at today's news conference. She joins us now live with how people are rallying behind the bishop. A stance in solidarity, that's what dozens of people, including some with disabilities, came to do today. Bishop Barber says the incident that happened at the AMC behind me is truly about humanity. I ain't gonna let nobody, nobody. think they can treat you different because you have a nobody. cane or a walker. Around 3.20 p.m. on Tuesday, Greenville Police Department was called to AMC Fire Tower 12 for a customer disturbance. Bishop William Barber, who was trying to set up his chair in an area designated to people with disabilities, was told by AMC staff that his chair was a fire hazard. It would be stupid of me to create a high fire hazard because I'd be the one burn up. All right. <laughs> if you go into these theaters now, they actually have areas cut out. For, for handicapped chairs and scooters and, and things are changing. Like the one time we only had wheelchairs. Now we have chairs for quadriplegics that are standing them all the way up. Come on now. What are you going to do, right. say they can't come in? At Friday's press conference, Barber says he is fighting for what's right with community members and local leaders standing with him in strength and solidarity. Even when I was young, I always wanted to be a part of something. I always wanted to help. I can't find a better way to fight for someone because there's a lot of people who will not fight for themselves. You know, they won't speak up. One of the key things that I heard him say that if he did not stand up, other people may be going through the same thing. Will they stand up? And if people don't stand up and injustice happens of any kind, guess what? It continues to happen. I have to believe it's going on somewhere else. Something else happens, somebody's afraid, and it may not even be in a theater, it may be something else. And this is going to give some folk courage to activate that law and, and walk into their promise. Barbara says he has accepted the apology on behalf of AMC, but that's only the beginning. He says a change in policy is the end goal. Now, he is scheduled to meet with AMC representatives next week. In a statement by AMC earlier this week, they said they are reviewing policies and they suggest anyone with any special needs to please contact the manager beforehand for any accommodations. Reporting live in Pitt County, Amanda Denise, News 12.